Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am going to be doing a swipe. I've got a split base colour combination here and I'm using up some leftovers um, in kind of a blue, yellow, rainbow sort of colour palette. So let's get started. For those of you that are new, this art technique is called acrylic pouring. We pour colours onto the canvas and um, manipulate them in whichever way you like. There's many different uh, styles, but um, today I'm going to do a half dark color, which is this uh, Prussian phalo blue. And I'm just trying to decide how much. Let's just go. I just left a bit in my cup. Uh, this one is cobalt blue. I think. No, this is a manganese blue. Just going to stretch that a little bit. Uh, mix with a bit of titanium white. It's quite pretty. So, um, my last pour, I used the dark base. And the swipe, although beautiful, had a lot of this turquoise in it. And there were some really pretty colours here, the cobalt blue and the mag manganese. Manganese? Let's just check that colour. Manganese blue phalo. Um, and they looked really pretty, but they were right on my edges. So my goal here is to get them into the middle a bit more. So I'm trying to decide how I want to lay my colors down. Do I want like puddles or lines or a mixture? Um, and do I have enough paint on here? I think I need to lay down a reasonable amount of my colors because I need I need more paint. All right, I'm going to go do a swipe through the middle and then probably one on each side. Um, so I'm going to save a little bit of this to put through my lighter color side to bring the colors together. This one's pretty close to this color. That's the straight manganese blue and this one, the base is mixed with some titanium white. So, oh, this is exciting, but I've got to get this right. I think I'm going to do small puddles because I don't want it to completely blend. When I do lines, the colors all blend and sometimes I don't get any individual colors. I've only got a small amount of this gold left too. So I've got to decide where that's going to go. So through the middle, let's just start with some puddles. I wonder if I should bring it right out. I might turn it around because I need more paint over here. Let's go this way. Then I can start my colors out here. And bring them over the top. some yellow in there. So bright. Let's bring the gold in and some of this bright color again. And I want to travel I think probably halfway down with the colors to about the midpoint I think. Oh let's go yellow over here because I think the gold looks nice over the top of the yellow. I just, I must have dipped the cup in. Okay, uh, let's put this color through there. Some turquoise. I really want this color to stand out. So let's, and then we'll finish it off with the yellow. 
All right, let's put some other colors here. I think what I'm going to do, I think I am going to swipe that first because I want to see what colors are missing. Sometimes you think, oh, I wish that had more of this color. So let's do that. Where's my white swipe mix? And the other thing I learned from la the last video is to make sure I tip off a bit of this swipe mix because um, it ended up being a little bit too white. So I don't want too much on here. So I'll put it on and then I'll tip it. Let's spread it evenly so it's nice and coated evenly. Bit off like that, and now let me try and get a bit of a wave. I'm hopeless at that. I always end up somehow straight, but let's let's give it a whirl. Definitely got some green happening through there. The yellow blending with the blues. Okay, got some nice blue there, which is what I wanted. How do I get the yellow to look yellow? Let's put some bright blue here. And I'm going to lay a stripe of yellow through the middle. Let's see what this does. Maybe a little bit of gold on that as well. Let's see what happens with that. I think I only want this short. Might take it off through here. Let's put the white on. Give it a tilt. Still got plenty of these colors left. I might actually add more, more yellow. Let's see if we really can get some of that yellow. If it ends up green, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I've got a few stripes in this. Oh wow, that's cool. I do like that. That's nice. That's brought the colors in. Okay. Now I might turn it around to do the other side. It's going to get a little bit of the Prussian fellow blue in there as well and bring some dark on this side some green or turquoise manganese oh, I like this bright blue I want kind of a fair amount of this a little bit more through there. Let's try and make this a bright blue side with a bit of yellow. Is that enough of the dark colour? Should I bring in another little bit through here? I might bring that to the edge. All right, I'm going to try and come close here and then come back out. Here we go. gold nice big bit of gold through there so that's good I'm actually happy with the the color ranges through there now the lacing is just looking gorgeous oh that's pretty through there too that's because I've 
put a little bit extra into my turquoise of the uh, ultramarine um, extreme sheen and it just expands a little differently it just reacts a bit differently I'm gonna practice on this one first because this might come off but that one's gonna probably stay so let's see what happens if we do this So I am going to just like drag it up through, I think. I'd probably like that less now. Let's see what else we can do. I might try blending it. That looks nice. And then maybe extend the yellow by dipping I dip the end it just seems to work better when I do that at the color and then just drag it through Maybe a bit flatter more blend on this one okay Oh, we're already coming off the edge. Okay, so I think we need to get a wriggle on. And start stretching. So that's... All right, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Stop tilting. Oh no. <laughs> I do actually like that bit. I'm going to put a bit of this light blue up here. In fact, I can probably use up some of my other colours. Just as flow extender. Let's feel the weight of the paint. go this way first and it's squishing up a little bit so I think I'm gonna have trouble keeping some of that bright blue that I had up there a little bit and then go that way oh I'm dripping it on my feet <laughs> I just felt some fall on my feet I really like this I want to bring this further What have I, what am I doing? Oh dear, I'm making a big mess on the floor. <laughs> There's a bit more paint than I realised. I'm going to have to try and scoop this paint up, I think, and uh, save some of it. I wonder what colour it will make. Probably some kind of turquoise. It's got a bit of negative space in it, this one. Is that a bit that I've just dropped on there, or I can't tell if it's. 
some of this lacing is gorgeous and this is actually looking quite pretty and soft along the edge there too with a bit of white blended in so I'll bring you in for the wet look all right here it is wet um, I was trying to clean up a bit and I was trying to move it and I started damaging the sides accidentally um, just this corner here I fixed it up as much as I can and this corner here but I did manage to save some of the leftovers and I've got an interesting dark turquoise color there and uh, well here it is wet now I can see that uh, it's starting to spread out the uh, turquoise so that's that's a reaction from adding in the um, extreme sheen so I don't know how much sparkle it's going to have though because it's not all extreme sheen I do like the blend I ended up getting in here oh, I wish I'd actually extended that out a bit more might have been nice but I like the, the colors through here because they stand out on their own this is a lot more blended through the middle but I've got the dark and the light stripe going through which I wanted and we've got some brightness down in this corner the gold should be interesting when it dries that's mixed in with gold there and we've also got some gold underneath here and up the top as well there's some gold so I'll bring you back when it's dry okay here is the dry result I'll bring you in a bit closer so I love the bright color here in the corner and the lacing is nice and crisp still with this one which is great um, and I like the stripes in this corner and I really love this blend got to remember to do more of that but um through the middle I actually am not a big fan so the there's just I mean I've got some shine in there if you can see that so that's cool um, but the colors don't pop enough in the middle for me but the um, cells that popped up from the turquoise which is quite unusual but yeah that's about it for this one um, the next one is going to be using a slightly different color palette and I'm going to be using up the leftovers from this one so and that's turned out like a really pretty color so uh, that's it and I'll see you all in the next one bye